and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before we begin our Eucharistic celebration, may we remind all our Mass goers to please make sure to fill out the given contact tracing forms, write your complete and updated details on the form. The seat numbers are found printed on the floor on the row assigned to you. Thank you. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. We are gathered here to worship, to honor, to praise, and give thanks to God. In this celebration, let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of William Yao, the family of the late Felicidad Manansala, Waldorf and Rosal family, Zenaida David, Adier David, Florentino David, Mendoza family, Roque family, Pangan family, Eugene and Christine Naval, Nelia Santos and family. For the birthday blessings of Joan Santos, Leonora Tuazon, Serge Nagyat, Lilia Ramos, Marilu Manalastas. For the physical and spiritual complete healing of Uncle Pete Nepomuceno, Apumpio, and Imang Auring Between, and family. For the physical and spiritual complete healing of Carlos Galvan, Ansi Javier. For the special intentions and guidance of the Holy Spirit, for families and friends of Father Nolly, Father Meg, Father Mark, and Father Marvin, Rodolfo and Vice Governor Lilianana Pineda and family, Governor Dennis and Yoli Pineda and family, Roselle Pineda, Cecilia and Miguel de Castro, Alan and Edna Vitug and family, Lizaldo Dunca, Miss Maria Teresa A. Laos and family, Renan Swing and family, Jeline Celso, Gladys and Claire Cochon, Dr. Gemeline Gueco, Grace Santa Ana, Joel Santa Ana, Juan Jose Santa Ana, Jennifer Santos, Debbie Ann Santos, Reggie Santos. For the speedy recovery for good quality extension of life of Pilar Francisco. For the quick recovery of Father Elmer Simbulan, Sister Agnes Goyena OCD, Christina Swing, Cel Timbol, Herminia Reyes, Janelle Lingat, Ashley Maria Kalingo Boyle, Gildo Manalo, Porita Galang, Jabel Esguera. Let us remember our departed loved ones, especially Bishop Oscar Cruz, Monsignor Eugenio Mercado Jr., Monsignor Andres Serrano, Monsignor Odon Santos, Monsignor Francisco Lansang, Monsignor Rustico Cuevas, Father Venancio Samson, Father Jesus Mariano, Father Leobardo Montoya, Father Lorenzo Sarmiento, Father Herwin Bulaon, Monsignor Cosme Between, Monsignor Andres Between, Jose Joaquina Between, Antonio Dizon, Lourdes Dizon, Teresita Wilkerson, Johnny Uy, Aurora Nepomuceno Valdez, Ricardo Tan, Francisco De Choco, Natividad De Choco, Josefina Tolentino, Alfredo Chow, Chua Tang Eng, Yao Bun Keng, Edward Yao, Santiago Tai, Antonia Reyes, Maximo Chow, Simeona, Cecilia, Lolita, Vicky Manalili, Lamberto, Romana Rivera, Norman Alfonso Rivera, Keberly Joy Maniti, Benjamin Rivera, Abraham Tayag, Sonia Omandal, Agapito Meneses, Jose Sensing Suarez, Sofia Suarez, Librado Sicat, Chito Reyes, Reynaldo Reyes, Rodrigo Wong Gonzalez II, Alfonso Wong, Emilia and Santiago Gonzalez, Juanito Belicario, Fernando Barameda, Redentor Magat, Eloy Antonio, Buenaventura Cruz, Misael Presas, Sherilyn Paras Antonio, Pasencia de los Reyes, Teresita Camaya, Teresita Punzalan, Fernanda Camaya, Anisha Aison, Norma Disonglo, Rosita Shoponco, Jesus Shoponco, Antonio Yabut, Asuncion Yabut, Sofia Tanglao, Maria Teresa Andrade, Janisha Aison, Pablo Aison, Willie Suarez, 
Marquis Aison, Angelo Rodriguez, Willie David, Bart Sinang Tablante, Primo Biling David, Anasto Miguela Santos, Tex and Father Paula, Dong Roy, Ching David, Mama Pat, Shoni Tangkarding, Tangkarlito, Sister Joaquina, Father Odon, Carlito Mendoza, Manolito Gueco, So Nearest the Gates of Heaven, Conrado and Estrella, Edgardo, Armelo, Efren, Elizabeth and Bienvenido Sr., Aurelia U. Enriquez, Francisco Enriquez, Nino Baltazar Enriquez, Celerina Ginto, Hannah Jessica Ginto, Gloria Nuki, Jesus Nuki, Elgin Torres, Rufino Boyson Santos, Carlos Baza Sr., Gertrudes Baza, Shannon Del Rosario, Purita Tulabot Santos, Felix Tulabot, Aquilina Tulabot, Angel Tanueco, Ines Tanueco, Alma Tanueco, Crisostomo Concepcion, Consolacion Cristobal, Natulio Cristobal, Erlinda Cristobal, Claudia Dunca, Ricardo Dunca, Lilibeth Castro, Avelino Aguilar, Janicio Sese, and Milagro Sese, Benjamin Cura Sr. Sese, Tony and Zenaida Estacio, Conra Corazon Manlapig, Africa Gambala, Christian Verdes, Migi David, Marcela, Joselito Avenir, and we pray for the souls of all departed, especially those who are in most need of God's mercy. Our Mass presider is Father Mark Christopher M. De Leon. In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with a spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothed him in a robe of glory. As one family, we are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Ambrose, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. He is known for his inspiring, touching, and moving sermons wherein the great Saint Augustine was moved and was willing to be converted and baptized to the faith. We pray to God that in our day-to-day -day living, we may be able to inspire and to help people to go closer to God. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exalt. The step will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord 
the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stalk. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Stream will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning suns will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The abode where chuckles lurk will be a marsh for the reed and papyrus. A highway will be there called the holy way. No one unclean may pass over it, nor fools go astray on it. No lion will be there, nor beast of prey go up to be met upon it. It is for those with a journey to make, and on it the redeemed will walk. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness, sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our God will, will come to save us. Our God will come to save us. I will hear what God proclaims the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Our God will come to save us. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Our God will, will come to save us. The Lord himself will give his benefits, our land shall yield its increase, justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Our God will come to save us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Behold, the King will come, the Lord of the earth, and He Himself will lift the yoke of our captivity. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day, as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law, who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, were sitting there. And the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher, a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in, because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man 
has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God, and struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning po sa inyo lahat. Sabi nilang ganyan, sa ating pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay, marami tayong gawain, marami tayong ugali, o kaya napansin o di napansing gawain na nakaka-inspire sa ating kapwa. At madalas, kapag ka sinabi sa iyo, alam mo ba, na-inspire ako sa iyo, kaya ako ay nagkaganito. Madalas na naririnig yan sa ating mga guro. Agad sinasabi ng iba, lalo na yung mga naging, te- naging kaklasiko na teacher ngayon, sabi nila, alam mo bakit ako naging guro? Kasi na-inspire ako sa ating mga naging guro sa kanilang dedikasyon, sa kanilang sipag, at sa kanilang walang sawang paggabay sa atin mula nung tayo mag-aral hanggang magtapos. Meron naman ding nagsasabi, ang inspirasyon ko sa aking buhay ay ang aking mga magulang. Salat man, nahihirapan man, pero todo kayod sila para sa ating lahat maibigay lamang ating pangangailangan. At meron din nagsasabi sa mga simpleng gawain ng kanyang kapwa, siya na-inspire. Mga minamahal kong bayan ng Diyos, sa araw na ito, binibigyan tayo ng inspirasyon mula sa kwento ng mga kaibigan ng isang paralitiko. Gumawa sila ng paraan kasi unang-una, pwede natin sabihin, sila man na-inspire sila doon sa kanilang kaibigan. Paral- paralitiko na, pero may mga simple at kaaya-aya pa rin siyang nagagawa para sa kanila. Perhaps for these men, the paralyzed man was an exemplar of faith, was an exemplar of doing good works and inspiring them to go on and continue with life full of faith. Kaya ganyan na lang ang kanilang nais para gumawa ng paraan tulungan ang kanilang kaibigan at iharap, ilapit, idulog siya kay Jesus. Minamahal kong bayan ng Diyos, paalala sa ating lahat ngayong araw, let us appreciate people who inspires us. Let us, have, uh, let us give time in speaking, thanking, and giving words of encouragement to them, telling them, dahil sa'yo, na-inspire akong magpatuloy. Dahil sa'yo, ang pagiging mabuting kristiyano ay isang katotohanang malapit sa aking pagkatao. And as we celebrate the memorial of St. Ambrose of Milan, the great bishop and doctor of the church, In his life, he was able to inspire people also because of his teaching, his eloquence, and good sermons. He was able to move hearts to win the minds and the hearts of the people listening to his words. At isa na dyan, si San Agustin. Si San Agustin na lagi naghahanap ng, ka- ng kabuluhan at kahulugan ng buhay. Si San Agustin na nag-iisip kung paano niya makikita at madadama ang Diyos sa kanyang pagkatao. And later on, that saint, uh, the, the young Augustine became a great saint of the church also. 
In fact, St. Augustine of Hippo became a doctor of the church, just like his inspiration, St. Ambrose. Kaya sana sa ating buhay, yan ang pakatignan sa mga simpleng bagay na ginagawa mo, punuin mo siya ng pagmamahal. Sa bawat pagsasalita, pakikiharap sa tao, laging ipakita katotohanan at laging mabuhay sa realidad ng ating buhay. Simpleng buhay, puno ng inspirasyon. Simpleng buhay, nagbibigay inspirasyon. At simpleng buhay, nakikita pagka narito ng Diyos. Amen. With all the trust of the paralytic's friends, let us pray for healing and wholeness of the peoples of the world. In every petition, let our response be, Lord, heal us. Lord, hear us. That the Amen. Church of God may be constantly at work, carrying a Christ-saving mission through the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, heal us. That we may be ready to forgive others, realizing that this is the shared duty of all who follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, heal us. That those who feel paralyzed because of their sinfulness may find true spiritual healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, heal us. That the sick and the handicapped may receive comfort and hope in Jesus, who suffered for all of us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, heal us. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, heal us. In silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. May we in turn show forgiveness to all who have offended us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work from hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name 
for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which He constantly enlightened St. Ambrose for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Ambrose, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full are full of your glory hosanna 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 in the highest blessed is he who comes who comes in the name of the lord hosanna 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 in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Bishop, Pashano, our Bishop Emeritus, all the clergy and the religious. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, especially St. Ambrose and St. Augustine, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only see the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. A gentle reminder during the communion. For those who are ready to receive the Holy Communion, please remain standing and wait for the priest or Eucharistic ministers to approach you on your places. For those who will not receive the Holy Communion, kindly be seated or kneel in prayer. Thank you.
he who ponders the law of the Lord day and night will yield fruit in due season. Let us pray. Leaders who have been strengthened by the power of this sacrament, O Lord, so to profit from the teaching of St. Ambrose, that hastening fearlessly along your path, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Oracho Imperata. Please kneel for the Oracho Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Grant us the gift of contrition that we may be sorry with the sorrow of love for all our sins and the sins of humankind throughout the ages. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. Saint Rock, Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungson, Pray for us. So announcement, Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception and the 191st founding anniversary of Holy Rosary Parish, Angeles City. So tomorrow po, December 8, our schedule of Masses will be in 6.30 a.m. Kapampangan, 9 a.m. English, 4 p.m. Tagalog, and 6 p.m. in English. So please join our parish as we celebrate the founding anniversary and the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. So tomorrow is a holy day of obligation po. Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. To maintain physical distancing, may we kindly request everyone to stay on your seats and wait for our asherets. They will be guiding you on your way to our exit doors. May we also remind you to drop your contact tracing forms at the drop boxes located near our exit doors. Thank you.